Hello guys, Tony here back again. Um, this time I want to do a joystick review. Uh, I've been waiting for the new Samitsu stick. This is the um, SELS 70X uh, S variant, which is the silent variant. Um, I've been waiting for this joystick to come out for a while. I think it got released, I thought it was around sort of March, April -ish in Japan, and it was exclusive to Mac Japan. And But now they are starting to retailers outside of Japan are starting to get stock of these joysticks uh, which is nice um, so I managed to pick mine up from a company called Small Cabs in uh, France a uh, nice little company I've ordered off them a few times in the UK uh, the delivery is pretty fast usually takes about four days for them to uh, deliver the stuff and they, they do a good job and they, their prices are good as well so as you can see this is the uh, the new the new stick this is the uh, 70X if I turn it uh, this way, it might be better. You can see it's uh, quite a small form factor. And uh, some of the... Uh, i show this form factor compared to some other sticks now. So basically, if I turn it from the side, that is a um, Sanwa JLF. It doesn't have the mounting plate, mind, but uh, pretty much you can see the differences between them. Quite similar to a JLF, a little bit smaller, to be honest. Uh, the next one we have, this is a Shimitsu LS40 and you can see the differences in size against the LS40 and the differences in gates on the bottom compared to the LS40 and this is one of my favourite sticks, this is the um, this is the Shimitsu LS32 uh, as you can see the footprint on the LS32 is pretty big including the bottom of the stick and including the actual gate. Uh, I don't know whether you'll see on this, I've I've got a cowl octagate on it, so this one's been modded. Uh, quite like the octagate, really good for shmups. So I'll put this to the side. Anyway guys, so basically the reason I wanted this stick is that it's a new design by uh, Sumitsu and they've got some new features which they've never done before. The first of the features if I can get this to go zoom right in, as you can see the gate, the gate is not actually square. So it feels like a square gate, but it has defined up, down, left and right on the actual gate. So as you move it around, it locks in to the up and right. So it's basically a, a sort of design that's between a square gate and an and octagon gate. It's a bit hard with this camera, sorry guys, there's no other way I can look at it to do it. Um, so basically, it, it feels like a square gate, but it has defined up, down, left and right. Uh, as you can see, it's a very small form factor. Uh, the other thing this stick has is an incredibly small throw. It's tiny, the throw on this stick, which is I, I also like very much myself. Ignore the um, the scrolls on the sides to get it to fit in my... Um, Vulix cab, I had to drill out some of the uh, size because it it wasn't it wouldn't quite fit on the mounting plate and unfortunately I don't have the best tools in the world so it, it looks a bit rough but it works it fits in the cab. Um, the other the other thing that this uh, joystick has, if I take the ball top off, which is uh, unusual, if you can see in there, is the if I do it at the side that might be better. There's there's bits in the stick that stop this stick from turning left and right. It basically, it doesn't rotate like a normal arcade stick would. So basically, there's no rotation on this. So if I put the ball top back on, uh, let me just chuck that back on. So basically, if I try to turn it, the stick, it, it won't turn, it won't go away. There's a tiny bit of movement in here, as you can see, like that. And that's it. So there's no rotation, which at first feels a little bit weird because uh, I, I hold the stick basically like this, two fingers, and I, I, I basically move it around like that. And you've got a little bit of movement, but I think the way I hold the stick, it being fixed gives me a little bit more control when I'm not slipping and moving, twisting. But anyway, so that, that it doesn't uh, twist. Uh, the other thing to that, caveat to that is there's no screw there's no base place underneath to put a flat edge screwdriver to take the ball top off. So basically you just twist it and it comes off. So as 
for arcades it's probably not the greatest idea in the world the other thing i don't know whether you can i can get this in a position where you're going to be able to see it this comes off uh, i can't get it off at the moment because i tightened it up uh, that actually basically this unscrews and there's two spacers underneath there those two spacers you can take them out take them out one bit so you can basically change the height of the actual stick you can lower this stick down quite a bit Smiths would say you can't make the stick taller, but because there's two there's two spaces, they're essentially two two bolts. You can pull the bolts up a bit and then tighten them up against each other, and then tighten this metal shaft down on it, and then it's not going to go anywhere at that point. And then you you'll raise the height of the shaft a little bit, but as as it is with the two spaces, that's pretty much the perfect size for a you know an arcade panel, but. Um, I say I did tighten this up, so I can't knock a bit to get it off. Uh, there is a, I don't know if you can see it, there is a bit of a, a cutout in there for a little spanner. This is the only joystick I've ever come across where a spanner it would be quite handy. So you could do with a thin spanner but there just to tighten it up and loosen it off to change the height. But I, I've locked it in basically, I used a pair of pliers, which may be not the best way of doing it, but I did it. So that's the other feature of this. It basically, you know, you can change the height of the stick. And if I zoom right in, if I can, I don't know if it's a bit awkward when it's upside down on the cam, sorry guys. You can see the two metal pieces, but they, and they, which basically stop this stick from turning left and right. So, as a, as an arcade stick, this is quite a, a radically different design compared to, say, you know, your, your Sanwa GLF, where it basically turns, the stick continuously rotates to the top, so you can basically your hands move around, and you've got your square gate. I think what makes a difference in this quite a bit is hopefully you can see this in there, is that gate. That gate is, is a really good idea, I think. And it does work really well. Even games like, um, say, Ghouls and Ghosts, for instance, which is a four-way game, or normal joysticks, if you tend to pull down forward, uh, Alpha just keeps walking. But on this, it always, it, even if you put down forward, down back, it always it always tends to lock straight back into the down. And, uh, and it locks perfect. It's a really good idea. It's, it's such a... It's just a simple idea of just putting slight notches on a square gate to lock in. Um, so it's, it's a really interesting idea. I The reason I got this version, I could have done with the one with the, you know, the Sanwa pin out, you know, the, the, the actual pin header, if I can show you the pin header. The pin header. Um, I could have done with one of them, but I couldn't get it, basically. So I, I went for the silent version. Uh, as I got it in the cab, as you, you probably can't hear it. There's no clicking noises, which is a little bit weird at first, not having clicking noises. The other thing this stick has, before I forget, is the actual pivot point on the inside of the stick itself is full metal construction. So it's, it's not plastic like uh, in other sticks. So basically, the entire stick all the way through is metals, except for the um, the actuator itself, which is, uh, you know, your nylon or whatever, make plastic or whatever that is. But um, yeah, so the actual pivot motion in the stick is uh, metal as well. Uh, these sticks do cost a little bit more than normal. This one ended up costing me 50, 55 euros, which I think was about 48 quid, something like 48 pounds, something like that. Like I say, it's it's quite a, a different stick. I've been using it for about two weeks now. And at first, when I first... I scratched it with the adorable. Uh, at first, when I when I first put it in the cab and started using it, it felt very different. So not being able to turn the top of the stick. Uh, it, just, it just feels wrong for what it used to over the years. It just feels really different. But after a bit of getting used to it, and getting used to the way the gate is on you, uh, and getting used to not having the clicks of the side of the side of things, I've started to really like this stick. I've start I'm starting to think that 
all right, it may not be practical for an arcade because someone could walk along and twist the top of the stick off and pinch the ball tops and stuff, you know. So maybe for an arcade, it's not that practical. But I think for a home player, especially somebody who plays uh, multiple games, it's, it does work fine on beat em ups because it, it feels like a square gate. It works fine on shoot maps because it feels a little bit like an octagate as well. Um, I think Sanwar are actually... Uh, I think Shimitsu... I'm actually onto something here. I think having it locked in position and having that gate on the bottom, I think it might actually be a little bit of a game changer. It it does it does take a little bit of getting used to, uh, and it, it did feel very odd at first. But after playing it for two weeks, I'm I I love I love these the LS thirty twos. Is one of my favourite sticks ever. These are, and I normally got these sticks in most of my arcade sticks, and I had them in the cab as well. Really lovely sticks these are as well. Stunning. But I'm start. I I I started to think. I think I like this stick better than anything else. It's it's different, but I, I think with the changes they've done, I think um, Sumitsu are onto something. I think they might they might have something here. So I. Obviously, you can't give a review out of ten or whatever. I would say this is a fantastic arcade stick, and if you want to, if you like short throw, and you like to, you like an octagate. Well, it doesn't really matter octagate or square gate. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, and you're after something that's a little bit different with a short throw, and you know, with the fact that I'm, you know, if I turn the ball top on, in the fact that I I'm basically moving this, and then when I'm pushing in a corner. And my fingers are not twisting like this round as I'm as I'm pushing. I'm not getting that that twist as as you push like like you like if I loosen it off, you push the corner and you end up going like that. Because I'm I'm not getting that from this stick. I'm getting pushing straight in the corners. I think I'm getting slightly better control. I think I'm getting a little bit of, you know better control in areas and a little bit finer control because my my fingers are basically pushing exactly where I want to go. But funny, funny as it is, it almost at first seemed like I was using muscles in my finger I never knew I had. Hard to explain that is, but that's sort of what it felt like. So I, w I would say, guys, if you want to try something a little bit different, they're a little bit hard to track down at this moment in time. And they do do a version with uh, the pin header for uh, Sanwa. Uh, which I'm going to try and get hold of another one myself because I want to put it in my arcade stick. I really rate this stick and I think this new Shimitsu stick, I think Shimitsu are definitely onto something and I would definitely suggest uh, giving it a try. See, th this is based, I, I believe, around the LS56. So if you're used to the LS56, this will probably be really easy to adjust to. But um, I, I think with, within a couple of hours of using this stick, I started to really like it. So that's my review of this, guys. I, I think this is a really good stick. I, I suggest picking it up and giving it a try. You never know. It might revolutionise the way you're playing arcade sticks. But it does feel it does feel very good. And I, I'm keeping it in my arcade cab. Um, and it's really good for beat-em-ups. It's really good for shoot maps, And it's good for retro games. It seems to work great for everything. So anyway, guys, that's my that's the um, Sumitsu S E L S seventy X. So this is the silent variant, uh, brand new arcade stick by Sumitsu, and guess a thumbs up for me to be honest. And I'm gonna carry on using it. So hopefully, you guys, you you like this review and you've seen the little differences and make a decision whether you want to pick one up and give it a try yourself. But um, I would recommend giving it a try. Anyway, guys, cheers for that, and I shall uh, catch you on one of my live streams. Bye now.